right, welcome in Houdat Nation. I'm the Kodiak, and today I'm here to talk about why the New Orleans Saints need a full-fledged rebuild. Trade literally everybody you can, cut literally anybody you can to save cap space. But before we get into it, leave a like if you enjoy, or you can wait until the end, and hopefully I'll have earned it. Make sure to subscribe since I'm posting NFL content all offseason long, and let's get right into it. So the Saints had one of the softest schedules in the league this past season, and they played in the worst division of football. They weren't the worst team in the league, but I didn't see a lot of encouraging things from this team outside of a couple wins against New England and Atlanta where they completely blew the doors off them. But regardless, in reality, this team just has no hope. They, they have no upside going forward. They should not be this bad either. They failed to make the playoffs in a gift-wrapped NFC South. I know Tampa Bay kind of overperformed and they had a season that was really, really good compared to what you know was expected of them going into the year. But the Falcons coach could not figure out how to use his best offensive weapons. And Carolina looked completely hopeless in their first year with Bryce Young. But the Saints were the oldest team in the league. Statistically, oldest average age of on their roster of you know players throughout NFL teams. Finished 14th in overall DVOA, 17th in offensive DVOA, 15th in defensive DVOA and 14th in special teams, all while being in salary cap jail for what has seemed like a decade now. And their cap jail isn't that bad considering it's not really that hard to get out of, especially because the cap just went up. But they just can't make any big moves in free agency in forever. And the big move that they were able to make in free agency last offseason with Derek Carr was a complete process miss on their part. But one thing I will commend them for is the wide receiver room. Olave, Shahid, and Perry are all rising stars at the position. And this team doesn't have nothing. Let's just get this clear. But it's not a good position to be in in the modern NFL. This team, historically under Loomis, has drafted and developed their talent pretty well. But he manages the cap as if they are one to two pieces away from being the force that they used to be with prime Sean Payton and with prime Drew Brees. And it's too late now, but after this upcoming season in 2024, I think the Saints should look elsewhere for a new GM. Sometimes the game passes you by, and I think that's what's happened to Loomis. I don't think it's going to happen just because the Saints are really big on like organizational stability. But regardless, I think it would be great to have some new blood in this franchise. Regardless, I don't see a lot of upside with the Saints team going forward. And if there's one thing that they all have to realize in that building, it's that this team has nothing exciting going for it. Dennis Allen's not a good head coach. You should have started over the minute Sean Payton left, and he could not make anything work with... James Winston and Taysom Hill. And yeah, I know that they were treading water and just barely above 500 of that year, especially with one of the worst QB rooms in the league. But nothing should be off the table here for the Saints. If I'm Mickey Loomis, can I get a first round pick and a day three pick for Lattimore? See ya. A Debo and a Latte would have that secondary not completely lost, even without a guy like Marshawn Lattimore. And it's just definitely time. They aren't going to purposefully suck because that kills a locker room and that sets a bad example up for young players. And in the modern NFL, there are very few teams who will willingly tank. The only teams that will willingly tank are GMs and coaches who knew who know that they have a cushion. And the NFC South is not a super strong division either, but your hated rival just signed one of the best quarterbacks to come out of free agency in a couple of years. And Carolina hired the architect of Tampa Bay's lethal passing attack. But the Saints are going to suck for a while. They need to let old guys walk and implement new signings until they no longer have one of the oldest rosters in the NFL. Pull a Pete Carroll in 2010 with Seattle, where I'm sure they had almost 200 roster transactions during the year. But the Saints, if they keep going down this route, will not be able to afford their homegrown talent anymore because they're paying a bunch of you know over 30-year-old players top dollar as if they are a contender. And the only reason they aren't the laughingstock of the NFL anymore is because the Jets, seeing themselves as contenders, keep stacking veterans around their 40-year-old ayahuasca tripping quarterback coming off an Achilles injury. They should have pulled the Band-Aid off long, long ago. The Saints really are just trying the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, which is insane. It's time to pay the dues now so that they aren't just stuck trying to play the salary cap game and in the hole with a massive disadvantage every year. The number of people in Houdat Nation that just want them to commit to mediocrity for the sake of having an outside chance to maybe win the worst division in the league, or maybe win a wildcard game when the seven seed historically has just been awful in those contests, 
And it's past their window to even really blow up in the fashion that I think they should. But even if you traded away a lot of guys on this team, like Jordan, Carr, Kamara, Davis, Ramscheck, they have no value. Their value in an oversaturated market with replacement level veterans is that of maybe lucky to get a fifth or sixth round pick for any of them. And yeah, I just do not like the direction this Saints team is headed in. I think that they should look elsewhere at a lot of positions. I think that they should just keep churning and burning roster spots until they finally get a bunch of young blood. If I was Mickey Loomis, I would literally keep 30 or 40 UDFAs stashed until it's time for August and until it's time for training camp. But yeah, so that basically does it for me and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.